Hi, I'm Tony Fleming, and this is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Hey everybody, thanks for joining us on today's video, which is arguably the most expensive Camaro ever built. As we take a walk around this car and we look at the detail and things like that, you're gonna go, wow, that's really, really cool, but I'm still a little scared of this car. Don't feel bad. I was scared to death of this car. I love cars, I'd play with cars all day long, and this right here, this intimidated me. And then I said to myself, well, you know what? I gotta get past that, I gotta go for a drive. Once I drove the car, this is like driving a Tahoe. Hear me out for a second. All of, that see you, all of this you see right here is typically on today's modern supercars, whether it's a Z06, uh, the new CTS Cadillac, a lot of uh, other cars have a supercharger under the hood bolted to the engine. The hood just absolutely covers it. In this case here, they want it exposed to be a little bit of jewelry. You can still see all around this car when you drive it. This is just a tiny piece that's in front of you. And it is amazing. Because it's fuel injected, it doesn't stick up so high like having two carburetors on it. The car doesn't care whether it's cold or whether it's hot. You hit the key, you fire it up, it starts right up. It is an amazing piece of engineering and time. And you can see how somebody could have spent so much money. In my opinion, in my opinion, somebody probably spent it between twenty dollars and $40,000 just to get the drivability down right. You get in this car, uh, you put it in drive, you could drive to the beach in this car. You say, well, drive to the beach in this car? Are you crazy, man? It's like 17 million horsepower, right? A fighter jet doesn't have this much power. Yeah, but it's so docile, it has a six-speed automatic in it. Six-speed automatic with the gear vendor's overdrive. You can ride on the highway all day long. The fuel injection makes the power delivery super smooth. The engine is all mapped out. You can choose the pulley wheel that you want on the front depending on whether you want more power or less power. This makes uh, 800 horsepower. You say, oh my God, man, that's 800 horsepower. Well, today's modern supercars are making seven and 800 horsepower, right? Back in the day, they didn't make that. Modern supercars made 500, 505, or whatever. They've now crept their way up to this place here. The crazy thing about it is, it's just so smooth and so powerful, uh, but, the, but the car is engineered the rest of the way through. The rear end is set up like the way it's supposed to so that those tires lay all the rubber down. The chassis is designed so that when you step on the gas, the car goes straight down the road. It's all put together. It's all engineered to work together. It's not like somebody slapped some great components together. Say, good luck, see you in a week. Hope you make it. No, this car is tested, tested, and tested with all the best of the best. Forget all that. What you care about is what does it look like and what does it sound like, and I don't blame you because at the end of the day, I'm pretty shallow and this is what I'm looking for too. All right, so let's start with some paint because the paint right here is ridiculous. If you wanted a paint job like this, 30 grand. 30 grand, I've showed this to a couple painters and they're all saying 30 grand because if you look down the side of this car, it is so ridiculously straight. Days and days and months were put in to blocking this car up before paint was ever put on. Most people think that shiny paint is built upon the paint that's on top, and that's not really true, because if you ever worked at home and painted a wall at your house, if you don't prep the wall right, right, no matter how good a painter you are, you're still gonna see that ugliness on the wall, and that's what would happen here. Somebody stood a lot of time into the prep. All right, so I've rambled on about that, so now let's just see when people say mirror finish, this is what they're talking about. Here's mirror finish, you can see every last piece on there, every letter, every crisp line, everything that's on there, all right? So now let's go through here a little bit more and spend some time seeing where some of the rest of the money was spent. So you got 800 horsepower, you need to be able to stop. But you can't stop on skinny little tires, right? All these people with these big drag cars with these tiny tires up front, you gotta stop these cars, right? This has giant front wheels and front tires on it, right? And on top of it has Michelin pilots. And you say, well, what's the big deal about Michelin Pilots? Well, if I'm building a car and I want the best tire I can get on the best car I've ever built, I'm buying the most expensive tire I can get. Hence the reason why I love the idea that this already had Michelins on it. Look at the size of these wheel woods. Six piston brakes, three-piece rotors, slotted, cross-drilled, and ventilated. Right? Pretty big, I think you would agree. And the reason why these wheels are this size, these are 19s up front, the reason why they're 19s up front is to fit the brake system in here. You could easily put 16-inch wheels or 17-inch wheels on a, on a cool car, but these are uh, 19s in the front, right? That's today's modern supercars that have 19s in the front, maybe staggered 19s and 20s, all right? So we come on back here. These right here we put on. These can come off if you want to do all black because we didn't drill any holes. It's all just stick on. We're adding just a little color to it. I thought it was a cool little touch, and that can easily, uh, just a heat gun, we can take that off for you, or you can take it off yourself if you get tired of it. Not a big deal. And then we come on back here and we're looking at, look at this. This is amazing, 20 inch tires, 20 inch wheels, 
three-piece, custom-made. Let's say you said, hey, Tony, I love that car, but could you paint the centers of the rims black for me? Yeah, I can do that for you. I could paint the calipers red, paint these black, so when you're rolling down the road, it looks like the calipers are just floating in the wheel, uh, and we could do that. Little touches like that, call me, no big deal, and uh, we can certainly handle that. But, you know, this is the parts that a lot of people don't do. Check out this paint. doesn't matter where you are on this car. That paint is ridiculous. Ridiculous. All right? So now, back to custom. You're probably wondering, well, where's the door handles? It has door poppers. You don't need the door handles. All right? This right here is all custom. And this is all steel. This is not plastic or a clip-on or a toupee. None of that exists on this car. It's all real deal still body put together and you can clearly see hours and hours. If you come on back here, I'm going to show you a little bit more. These are LED taillights. When I turn it on, it's really cool. They're all LEDs wrapped up in here. All right. Everything is painted black, including the bumpers, rear spoiler. And you go on and on and look at the fit and finish of this car. And I'll throw in this one last part. Look at the stance of this car. It's so low and so well done. But the reason it can be so low is because the Art Morrison chassis underneath is very different than the original factory chassis. So it allows the car to sit lower and the suspension to sit a little bit higher so that it handles a lot better. You'll be so surprised when you get in this car and you drive it. It's ridiculously easy to go. I, I agree, I was scared at first too. But once you take it for a drive, you're like, wow, this is amazing. All right, so let's peek a peek. If you're gonna go to a car show, this car is going to pull up. It's going to have a rumble to it that most any other car in the world does not have, right? Not to mention a small little jewel sticking out of the hood. When you're inside the car, this doesn't really look that big because the, the way the, the hood slopes down, it just looks bigger. From back there, all you see is a little bit of this. So as we go in here, I want to show you here because the engine itself, let's just say, let's just guess at a number that the engine was $30,000, okay? That's an awesome number, and it's an awesome engine, and, uh, and Beck should be... Uh, commended for building this type of setup but I want to also show you the rest of the detail as well because I don't want to glaze over just the engine so like for instance like check out this hood it could have easily just cut out the hood and left this exposed like most other pro touring cars that I see but they welded in this steel panel underneath fabricated all this in here okay painted it and then masked this and made this satin black that looks really they made this filler panel this is all custom made stuff man this stuff takes a long time and a lot of dollars to do custom made here look at the radiator radiator cap here but it's buried underneath there this panel comes off if you ever need to service it these right here the billet hinges well tone those are billet hinges who cares yeah but they're twelve hundred dollars worth of billet hinges just the hood hinges are twelve hundred bucks right this has power steering a lot of the cars like this don't have it. I love power steering. You gotta have power steering in my opinion, and that's beautifully done in here as well. It's got a billet alternator. You guys ever seen a billet alternator? This has a billet alternator. Look how nicely the spark plug wires are routed, okay? This has rack and pinion steering as well, so it doesn't have uh, the big steering box, but it has really tight stay handling like today's modern supercar, right? Everything in here from uh, the fuel pressure regulator, but this is just, it's just easy stuff to get to and it's just easy to maintain and easy to service. This is not a complicated car. That's the part I want to get out to you is that this car here, you hit the key because it's fuel injected, fires right up. Has a huge radiator with dual electric fans. You can idle in traffic all day long, all right? It doesn't care. You can go to a car show. You can drive 100, 200, or 300 miles if you want to because of the overdrive automatic transmission. It's just a lot more friendly than it looks and that's why I thought you should see the video of this. All right, so again, this, these right here, we stuck those on. Uh, they're from a modern Camaro. You can take those off if you don't like it. If you want to do a total blackout, you can do that. All right, so come back here and check this out. All right, this Arc Audio sound system. Throughout this car has a navigation, and it has uh, Bluetooth, and it has satellite radio, and it has FM, AM, uh, all kinds of things, Pandora, whatever you want. And you can stream a lot of this through your phone as well. And everything is finished beautifully. Check out this trunk. This is a trunk, man. This is a trunk. Look at how beautiful these pieces are made here. Carpeted all around. This filler plate here. Okay. Uh, <laughs> somebody spent $5,000 on a trunk. Have you ever seen somebody spend $5,000? You can buy a used Toyota Corolla for the price that this trunk costs to do. Crazy. All right, so let's get inside here and see. Uh, I want you to see something for a second because... The detail in here is ridiculous. First off, these are total custom seats, not to mention they're super comfortable. 
custom door panels, the dash, all custom here. Check out the gauge setup inside here, right? Here's a stereo system we talked about, and when you turn that on, all these goodies pop up. I haven't even started to play with the stereo yet. Quite honestly, I don't even know how to turn it on, but I'm sure I'll figure that out in a minute. But what I wanted to show you is, I'm 6'1", and look how much room is in here. For big guys, man, this is the car. You got tilt wheel, right? This wheel right here, custom one-off. It's the only one ever made uh, by this company, and it's in this car. So it's kind of cool to be able to say that. Carbon fiber wrap, 10,000 RPM tack, 160 mile an hour speedometer, air fuel ratio, water, trans. When you get in here, man, this is fighter jet cockpit style thing. One thing that, uh, that a lot of people never notice is, that, is they say, well, that's a great looking car, but they don't really know why. So let me, we talked about a lot of things outside, but for instance, like look at the way the doors are custom molded, this piece right here. That could have taken uh, an entire week to make that door another week to make this door here. Look at the frameless windshield. Look at that. This right here. That's metal. 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 Not a clip-on, not a toupee, right? It's custom console. The shifter is really awesome because you can't miss a shift in it, and that's what's great about it. So you're making a lot of power. When you pull this all the way down into first gear, okay, smack it once, it only goes to second gear, click it back just a tiny bit, smack it again, it goes into third gear only. To get into any other, like neutral and park, you have to push that forward, and that's what makes it nice and safe. Can't miss a shift, and because uh, the last thing you want to do is be sounding cool and miss a shift and hit neutral and sound like a nerd. <laughs> All right, anyway, so uh, I think that's it, but uh, in here is the gear vendor's overdrive, okay, which allows uh, overdrive for the transmission, so you're on the highway or whatever, and you want to uh, just cruise. And if you look inside here, if you could come inside for just one second, you see that the blower is really very small. Look how much you can see. You can see everything and everywhere. The blower is really not in the way very much because it's fuel injected. It's lowered it by another four inches. If it was carbureted, it'd sit up above the windshield and it could be totally illegal. The fact that it's below the windshield should make it legal. What I wanted you to see was the, the Art Morrison chassis because believe it or not, there's an enormous amount of money uh, tied up in that. And that's again, what allows this car to be low but not lower than any other car that's out there. The underneath, the reason why is because the frame is tucked up inside the body. So every other car has the frame that hangs down below and then the body's put on top, right? Here, that's not like that. And so here you can see the exhaust system is tucked up and it's welded and it's slipped through the holes in the frame there. They're custom made for the exhaust, so the exhaust doesn't even hang down. If Colin can get this shot, look at this. It's completely flat underneath, no other a uh, pro touring car that we've had has ever been flat underneath like that, which allows it to sit lower but still have the same ground clearance. Then you can look and see, even the, look at that, that's a transmission cooler right there. It has its own fan. All of this is automated. All of it works the way it's supposed to and is exactly what you're looking for. If you wanted to build a car and not take three years and 200 plus thousand dollars, this is obviously the, uh, the best way to go. All right, so we close up this, uh, this car. You know, at first, I agree with you. I was totally intimidated by this car. I looked at it and wow, this is really cool, but whoa, what is all that? You know what, after the drive, I think you see that it just goes right down the road smoothly. We can go for a test drive together if you need to. It is really an easy car to drive. As the most unattractive uh, ring girl ever, I still would like to show you uh, the nice little sign that comes with it in case you decide to go to a car show, describing some of the things that are in here. You know, it does make uh, 800 horsepower, but it's mostly wrapped up in the torque, so it's just an easy car to drive. It makes 1,200 foot-pounds of torque is the claim of this, and uh, that's where you really get the feel of the power. This is not a 10,000 RPM, you gotta drive the, the life out of it. You step on the gas a little bit, it goes. You step on the gas a little bit harder, it goes a little bit harder. You wanna stop the car, it's got big brakes that does that. It's got a great killer sound system, a comfortable interior, tilt wheel and the custom leather seats. It's just an awesome, awesome car, and that's why I think you know getting a chance to finally see uh, what makes for uh, a spectacular street show car, also drivable, would be wrapped up in this. Anyway, if you find a way to get this ridiculously cool car in your life, call us 301-816-1000, we'll tell you all about it. What I wanted to kind of show you was how like modern and easy this is. You just turn on the power here, hit the start button. I didn't touch the gas. This comes up. A little bit of this for a second while it figures out what it likes, but it checks the barometer, checks the temperature outside. Smooths out now. All the gauges are looking good. Everything's lit up like it's supposed to. Okay? And then if you want to shut it off, it's like super easy. 
done. Shuts itself down, everybody puts themselves away, and, uh, and they go back to their business and becomes the show car. Pretty cool. All right, well, let's uh, go for this little test drive and see what you think.